Hey, how you guys doing today? Hope everybody is well. This is going to be a review of the Demoniacal Fit Majin Buster. Um, also known as Goku Super Saiyan 2. Um, I like the way the artwork looks on the cover. I've always liked the artwork on these Demoniacal Fit boxes. It always looks good. We got Majin Buster on the side. A few pictures on the back. That's pretty cool. Poses, etc. Another cool image of Goku. So yeah, this is the um the Michael Fitz version of the SH Figuarts um event exclusive uh Goku Super Saiyan 2. So I don't have that one yet. Um I'm gonna try to get it in the next few days so that I can do a comparison video. Um but for now, yeah, let's check this guy out and see what he's got. Okay. Okay. So this is what it looks like outside the box. Um, still in its plastic. Um, so it comes with a total of four lightning effect pieces. It comes with a total of ten different hand swap outs. And then three extra face plates. One yelling, gritted teeth, smirk. And then it also has the, um, this hairpiece right here um, kind of surprised me a little bit because I didn't know what it was. Um, you know, he already had a Super Saiyan 2 look. Uh, but this is the uh, Super Saiyan 1 hairpiece, so that's kind of cool. It was a little extra that Demoniacal Fit did for us, you know, they didn't have to do that, so I can appreciate that. And then this is where the aura is at. So the aura looks cool. It looks like this. That's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check out what Goku looks like. All right. And there he is. So um, he definitely looks better than the pre some of the pre-order images I had seen. Um, it seems that figures always look better than images and videos sometimes, you know, for the for the most part anyways. Um But yeah, it looks it looks good. I mean see if I can focus it right, there you go. Looks pretty good. I don't see any uh paint defects or anything or smudging, so and let me remove this halo piece. Just make sure you guys are careful with the halo piece. I remember I I once accidentally broke mine on the SH figure at Super Saiyan 3, and I had barely, like, I was already being careful as it is, but, you know, you just got to be extra careful and make sure you don't break it. So, yeah, um, it looks really good. Um, he's got the battle damage here. And his hair piece, let me show you so you guys can see, it comes off like that. Matter of fact, let's see what the uh, Super Saiyan looks like on here. So, yeah, there you go. That looks pretty cool, too. So, that's Super Saiyan and then Super Saiyan 2. You can always tell by the strand, so. But, yeah, that's pretty cool that they threw that in there. Really good. Alright, now let's check out the articulation real quick. So the head definitely does does definitely does go all, rotate all around. It goes up about that much, down about that much, so like that. Might be a little stiff. I'll loosen it up a little more later. So about that much. Um shoulders definitely go around all around smoothly. No looseness, no too it's not too tight either. Swivel, swivel's good, perfect amount of friction, we got the double jointed elbows, and bends about that much, that's pretty good, rotation on the wrist, so that's pretty cool, and then for the ab crunch, it goes back about that much. 
that much and then it goes forward about that much it actually goes forward a decent amount so that's kind of cool i like that yeah look at that's pretty good so like that not too bad swivel on the waist feel smooth this sash is a loose oh, i'm sorry it's a separate piece from the rest so it's not attached or anything so that's cool um the legs kick up this much they go back this much out this much let's see and it actually can do the splits about that much so that's pretty cool that's pretty damn good and the knees go about this much thigh swivel And for some reason, this knee piece right here is not falling off this time. I remember I had a demonical fit figure once. I think it was um the Limit Breaker. He um which is the blue Kyle Ken. Um, his knee piece would all, always fall every once in a while just from like moving it around. I had to glue it a little bit to make it a, a snug fit, and it, it I fixed it pretty much. But yeah, it looks like they definitely fixed it this time around because. Um, it's not popping out, so that's pretty damn good. Yeah. Definitely not. So yeah, it looks like they fixed that issue. That's nice. Okay, let's check out the foot. The foot could go down that much. Up that much. So pretty much like that. Toe hinge. And then... But rotates all around. Goes out that much. Goes in this much. The rocker's decent. I mean, I guess it could be better. Um, would like it to be better. But yeah, I mean, it gets the job done. Not the, not the most perfect, but... Yeah, it goes about that much. So, not too bad. Um, I really like that. I think, um, if I remember correctly, the event exclusive had uh, the metallic hair. But I actually like this hair better because it's got the matte um, finish to it. And I'm actually more of a fan of the matte. At least for the Super Saiyan forms. I feel like those should definitely be, um, you know, matte colored instead of the uh, the shiny shininess. For the God forms, you know, like red, blue, and above. Those, meta those being metallic is fine. Like I said... Also, that's my my opinion, my preference. I mean, everybody's different. Everybody likes their own stuff, and that's cool. But you know, that's just that's just the way that I collect them. So I've always liked matte for Super Saiyan one, two, and three. So I like the matte on this one, really good, real a lot. It's it's really awesome. So that's cool. All right, so we're gonna check out. We're gonna go ahead and check out the aura piece and the lightning effects and see what they look like. Okay, here we go. So this is the aura piece. Um, this is actually my um, very first aura of this kind. I have other auras, but they are. Uh, I have like a couple from Demon Knight Cafe where it's the drawing on the back, on the plastic. I like those too. I like to have a variety of auras. So this is my first one of this kind. I also have a couple figureized auras, the ones that go all around the figure. Um, on some of my Dragon Ball figures. But like I said, I like to have a variety of auras and abilities and uh, um, effect effect pieces. So, yeah, this one looks really good. I mean, it's like yellow on the outside and then a little yellow right here. And then it's like white in the center, which is cool. It looks nice. It looks good. I mean, looks really good. Let me see if I can uh, adjust that a little bit. There you go. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and put these um, lightning effect pieces and see how easy it is to put these in. We're going to try this one first. Oh, it's actually actually went in a little easier. I heard the event exclusive is really hard to get these lightning effect pieces in. Um, so these really went in kind of easily, you know what I mean? So it's like definitely doesn't feel like I'm going to break these. Just from putting them in. So that's cool. Just have to wiggle it in there. Yeah. There you go. 
and then you wiggle it. I feel like trying to push them straight in does not work. You have to kind of like do the twist as they go in and it goes in a lot easier. So yeah, that's definitely uh, cool. I think I've been waiting the longest for um, a Super Saiyan 2 form. Neither Figure Arts or anybody had done uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku yet. We had a lot of customizers out there doing their own head sculpts, but nobody really did an official figure. Anyways, so there you go. That looks pretty good. Looks like that from the side. like that from right there so that's pretty cool see if I can adjust that real quick that way I can put go go in there see what it looks like Well, I have to wiggle it around a little bit, but there you go. I mean, I could do a better job of adjusting it, but I don't want to break anything, so I'll try to take it easy. But yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. Okay, we're going to take a look at the head plates, the rest of the heads, head plates on the figure. Okay, so these are the face plates up close. So it comes with the teeth gridded. Make sure I can focus the camera well. There you go. Teeth gridded. Looks pretty good. We got the smirk. Looks good. And we have the yelling, the yelling face. Looks good as well. Like I said, I don't have the event exclusive to compare them to, but I will try my best to get it in the next day or so. And then I can do a comparison video. Um, but yeah, everything so far looks great. Um, like I said, um, this is demonical fit, so it's not going to... Um, Feel, I guess sometimes like figure arts quality, but to me, this is my opinion. To me, I feel like a lot of the demoniacal fit does have the quality that figure arts has on some of its figures, on some of the details. Like I said, that's my opinion. I'm not too um I'm not too crazy on you know making them be too perfect, but there's there's other things that bug me a lot less, and there's other things that bug me more. Like uh you know, at least having all the articulation, that's always a plus. So let's go ahead and put some of these face plates on and see what he looks like. So this is what he looks like with the yelling face. That looks pretty good. I like that. I like that yelling face. This is what he looks like with the with the smirk slash smile. I'll say smirk. Yeah, that looks pretty good too. That looks pretty good. And this is probably one of my least favorite of the, of the four face plates because I mean I do like it. But I feel like it doesn't have um, the outline, the black outline around the teeth, around the mouth. Let me see if I can get closer so you guys can see. It doesn't have the black outline around the teeth, which um, other figure arts um, products have had it. Other figures have had it. And then figure arts most of the time does do that detail around the mouth to make it kind of pop. You know, in, next to, in contrast to the skin. So, I mean, other than that, it looks good. I mean, it still looks good. You know, there's still good detail in the eye. There's the lines on the, on the, above the eyes and below the eyes. And, you know, it has the line on the teeth. But, I mean, it still looks good. But it's just that detail, you know, so you guys can keep that in mind. Um, that, that would definitely would have been cool if it had the outline around the mouth. But, at least you guys know, so. 
but otherwise I like the other I like the other face plates a lot. They're definitely um they're definitely awesome. Actually, let's try let's try them with the Super Saiyan hair now so you guys can see. So this is the Super Saiyan hair piece right here. So there you go. That's Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan 1. That looks pretty good too. Wow. Yeah, it works. So you can have Super Saiyan 1. I might get another copy of this guy. Um, because he's he's also cheaper than the event exclusive from Figure Arts. Figure Arts uh, event exclusive is, I don't know, like 140 and above. If you're lucky. <laughs> um, but definitely I like the price of this guy. And for the price, you're definitely getting a lot. I love it. Um, you know, it's got, like I said, it's few issues. It's not perfect, but it's pretty damn awesome for, you know, 50 to 55 bucks, you know. So um, I like it a lot. The price range will always, for the most part, win me over. This is what it looks like with the yelling face. Super Saiyan 1 hair. That looks pretty good too, right? Yeah, that looks good. And then... The smirk. Yep, that looks cool too. Looks really good. And then the serious slash angry. Yeah, they look good. Like I said, um it's gonna have its differences. Hopefully I can get the event exclusive soon. I can do a comparison. But uh definitely like I said for the money, this is my opinion for the money, it's definitely um worth it for me. But you know, everybody has their taste. Everybody has their preferences. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And I was able to bring some insight to you guys and help you out a little bit. So thank you very much for being with me here today. And I will see you guys next time.